what's up guys welcome back to my channel okay so today we are going to discuss the latest episode of love and hip-hop so that will be the episode where mendices and yandy decided to get infinity an apartment so if y'all want to know this tea if y'all want to know what i think mm, just keep on watching y'all so my thoughts on the episode all right so first and foremost i am a mother as well my oldest which is my stepdaughter she is about to be 16 next month so she's getting close to affinity's age um also have a seven year old and 11 year old so i'm going to speak as a mother and from personal experience because i was 19 as well when i first left home so all right, so let's just state the facts here. Yandy, she adopts um, Infinity while Mendeecees is away in jail. Some say she's doing it for Cloud. Some say she's doing it because she needed a storyline, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, regardless, she adopted a girl. She did a good deed. She put the girl in a better situation. Like, she she leveled up her lifestyle, pretty much. So it doesn't matter what other people think. She leveled her up. And I really honestly believe that Yandy loves that girl. Don't care what nobody else say. That's just my opinion. So, okay. So Yandy moves her in. They build this relationship. Blah blah blah. Um, Infinity decides to get into it with Yandy. Who knows the full true story behind the scenes? But they got into it about something. I heard on a TV show she was upset because they took a family picture for Christmas and put it on Instagram. I just hope there is a backstory behind that and that's what they just use for TV because they didn't want to say the real story because that is just ridiculous like super ridiculous moving forward so Infinity threatens to write a tell-all book tell who what tell who what oh no no ma'am that's what we're gonna skirt stop you right there you, you're not about to write no tell-all book one she's a reality TV star then she has multiple businesses two her husband was a convicted comic like convicted felon i don't know the proper terms for it but if that's how you say it whatever i just know he went to jail he did some fed time and he wanted to tell a book imagine what she heard in that household walls are thin and then you want to it's probably stuff it would probably been stuff in there that you didn't even know that she overheard in certain conversations and it's just like why threaten the person who took you in leveled up your lifestyle loved you virtually around her family her kids put you on a tv show put you on the money I like why would you do that so then also it was said that she was dating um an older man and yandy wasn't feeling that so many stuff behind the scenes but my opinion on it is okay so this is where it gets to where i'm about to share my opinion because they sat her down and they wanted to have a talk with her of course i think it was more so mendices who wanted infinity out more so than yandy or maybe yandy's playing off in front of the camera but my thought on that my whole take on that is okay he's home from prison now he really don't trust infinity which i don't either and i'm not even in the household he don't really trust her like that so they sat down with infinity and they told her hey okay you just came back y'all just made up and then you just want to stay here until you can't no more ma'am you weren't invited back you were just like <laughs> you're 19 so technically if you were her foster child pretty much she only got to look out for you until you're 18 then you were a grown ass woman you take on from there but she still loves you so she was just like willing to make up with you but she don't owe that girl anything people went harder on yandy than they did on that girl own biological mother her biological mother is alive and well like no she may not be in a position to raise her i'm not sure what the whole story is behind her biological mother but at the same time yandy don't owe this girl shit anymore they offered her to live in an apartment and they were going to help her out for a couple of months for rent um hello what 19 year old went with that of course she has abandonment issues but i feel like she was also playing the crying card to get to stay inside the house because she probably didn't want that responsibility of working and taking care of her bills they are trying to teach that girl responsibility all right so you're 19 i ain't see her with no backpack on or no episodes going to college studying you just pretty much in these streets no yandy got a degree she got out like it's like you okay 
Let me bring it back. If she was in college, I would let her stay with me until she graduated. That's the rules. If you're in college, you're doing a four-year program, you can stay with me until you're done. If you want to go on to your master's, your doctorate's okay. I feel like college students, you want to work part-time, cool, but I don't feel like you should be working full-time job trying to focus on that and pay your bills while you're still trying to focus on your studies because school is not easy at all. It is a big stress bubble. I did part-time when I was in college and that killed me. So I think that yeah that would that would be the only solution to let her stay with me in my home the second point just because you live in an apartment does not mean yandy's not gonna be in your life no more you can literally probably find an apartment within 15 20 minutes of her my mom lives about 20 minutes from me i have my own home she has her own home we're both homeowners i see her every day Sometimes I can't get around my house. Like she's here all the time. I'm never alone. And yes, she's been tonight. I'm never alone. One day I came home from work and my house was empty. It was crooked to here. Oh my gosh, I blast my music. I started wearing whatever the hell I want to wear around the house. My undies. I made me some dinner, poured me a glass of wine. By the time I took my first sip, I caught my mom and my child coming through the front door, turning off my music. Uh-uh, what you doing? This is my stuff. Anyway, <laughs> just because you live in your own apartment does not mean that you're going to be alone. Trust me, Yandy will be over there. Those kids, they love you. They will be over there. She probably dropped them all so you can babysit sometimes. Who knows? But probably not if you keep dating older men and being all creepy. Anyway, it's like teaching your children independence. That's exactly what I'm going to teach mine. Be independent. Don't depend on me. You're not going to be staying here. You're at the age where you want to probably start being sexually active. Where did you think you were going to do that at? my house no go get your own space and i'm pretty sure after those couple of months were up if you were still struggling she would have helped you yandy most likely would have helped you and she probably i'm pretty sure she got some good connects so she, maybe you could have worked for her skincare line yell skincare ask your mom that's your mom ask her can you work inside the warehouse who knows or she could put a good word in somewhere or maybe go to like a community college and try to like you know figure out what you want to do with your life i just think that she's trying to teach her responsibility i'm totally team yandy on this one no i don't agree with everything that yandy does i'm not no huge giant fan of hers and mendices or anything like that and i'm not hating either i like them they're a cute couple um but it's just like my opinion is just my opinion coming from a mother coming as someone who sees it as i see i i, I can just see the like how it can affect her in the long run teaching her to be independent you're 19 years old i don't know where her birthday is she probably closer to 20 at this point like how long are you gonna live at home with your parents i was gone at 19. it would have been sooner than that if i'd have figured out what i want to do myself but yeah that was pretty much how it was with us and a, and another thing that people were saying i'm when i say people i'm going by the shade room comments because yes i'm on there I just don't comment underneath for there because I don't feel like the whole world attacking me under one of my comments, y'all. I just don't. So they're saying, you wouldn't do that to, what is the little girl name? You wouldn't do that to your own daughter. I forgot her daughter name, Skylar. You wouldn't do that if that was Skylar. And she, Yandy's response was, yes, I would. <laughs> yes, I would. I would actually be a little tougher on Skylar. Infinity is not Skylar. Skylar is still walking around playing with Barbie dolls. Please stop comparing the two. It's just it's just not okay don't compare children at all and she might just go hard on Skylar I'm pretty sure you she's gonna push Skylar to go to college she probably had that conversation with Infinity bottom line is y'all it sounds like a lot of y'all are enabling your children to be some bums like little angel my daughter she is my biological daughter is 11 we already started planning for college she talked about going to temple university then she said she wants to be an OBGYN. i don't know she's been sticking to OBGYN for a couple of years now but i already planted i've been planting that seed in her ear for a while now she know it's okay if you want to stay on campus cool if you want to stay at the house that's also cool but just know once you graduate college i said we're going to get your brush i go i can't wait to get an apartment and she already has the decorations in mind and stuff like that and 
she's a pretty good she's a pretty good kid i don't think that she's gonna go out be all buck wild inside this apartment or nothing like that because i raised her right but chill yeah. but that's all i have for today if y'all want to talk, keep talking about loving hip hop or my reaction to certain episodes, just let me know in the comments below or let me know what y'all think too. Let me know how y'all feel about Infinity moving out. Um, if y'all want me to go in on Erica and Safari situation, <laughs> I could do that too. I would do that on the next. Hmm, what should we call? What should we call this segment? Tea time with Lee. This not really tea, but. I don't know. Tea time with Lee. That's what we're going to call it. We're going to pretend this is tea. Okay? So, I'll talk to you later, guys. Mwah.